Amesy here of Amesy's Antics. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are well today because we have another sewing project, an easy sewing project to be in fact for you to have a go at. In this week's video I will show you how to make an envelope pillowcase using whatever material that you like but I am using a blanket slash throw to do so so that I have a coordinating pillowcase with a end blanket for the bed if that makes sense. So if you would like to see how to make an envelope pillowcase then let's get crafting or sewing. To make the envelope pillowcase you are going to need your material of choice. Like I said I am using a blanket to make mine so that I can match the pillowcase with the bottom throw to the bed as well as an existing pillowcase that you already have that is an envelope style and some cotton thread, a measuring tape and of course some pins as well as your sewing machine. The first thing that I did was measure my existing pillowcase to get the measurements for the amount of fabric I needed to use. So to do this you want to measure the front piece measuring the width and length of this. Now if you don't have an existing pillowcase to measure from, the standard size of a UK pillow is 75 centimeters by 50 centimeters so you can use these measurements adding one to two centimeters uh, on each for seam allowance then turn over the pillowcase and as you can see the one i am modeling off is actually enveloped in the middle so this is the style i am going to recreate and what you want to do is measure from the edge to that middle flap and i think on this one on mine it is 50 centimeters wide by 40 centimeters in length and that will be for the two back pieces so hopefully that will give you a rough measurement of what you are needing to cut out of your fabric. Then you want to transfer your measurements onto your chosen fabric. I am using a tartan check fleece blanket here and I actually use the remnants of this in a DIY ear warmer video so I will link that up above. Then you want to cut this out cutting one for the front of the pillowcase and then two pieces for the back envelope piece. Start by laying the front piece of the pillowcase down, right side facing up and then you want to place over the two back flat pieces right side down and pinning these into place making sure that they overlap in the middle like so. Also make sure that all of the raw edges around the edge are lining up together and sitting flush because when you come to sew it if they are a bit misaligned you may get the wrong size of your pillowcase and your pillowcase may not fit so you don't want that to happen. Then you want to head to the sewing machine and begin sewing a seam all the way around that open edge to connect it all together, making sure this is between one to two centimeters depending on what you added to your initial measurements. Remembering to backstitch the start and the end of each seam and removing the pins as you go around. Once you reach the corners, you want to drop the needle into the fabric, lift the presser foot, turn the fabric to the direction you are sewing, replace the presser foot and then continue sewing on. And then also when you are going over the flaps of the envelope part of the cover, you also want to backstitch several times over the openings and where it is bumpy because this is where pillow will take the most wear and tear. Before turning the newly sewn pillowcase right side out you want to cut all four corners of the pillowcase to reduce bulk and then if your seam allowance is quite a deep one you also want to trim this down to reduce some of that bulk when you have the pillow in place. 
Then using the envelope opening on the back, turn the pillowcase right side out. And then you want to also make sure that you push out all four of the corners because these probably will still be slightly folded in. And to do this, I just use the blunt end side of my seam ripper, but you could use the end of a pen or end of something else blunt that can just really get into them corners and push them out. Test out the new lip made pillowcase on your chosen pillow and make any adjustments that may be needed. So for example, if it is too big, you maybe want to take the seams in a little bit deeper. And if it is a tiny bit snug, then maybe you want to make them seams a little bit narrower. But then the envelope pillowcase is ready to be used. So they have how to make an envelope pillowcase in this really easy sewing project. I love that you can use any type of material and make it into something else. So if you do have an old blanket or throw line about, or you see a throw that you think I would love some matching cushions in this, then buy an extra throw if it's cheap enough, obviously, and you can make your own matching set. I love how versatile sewing is and what you can make out of nothing really. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Will you be having a go at making your own pillowcase? I'm matching it to your bedding. I would love to know, so put it in them comments below. And if you've enjoyed the video, then please do give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all of my crafting antics coming up onto the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well because that will alert you each time one of my videos goes live so you don't miss out on any crafting fun, <laughs> if you want to call it fun. And don't forget to check out my blog Ames's Antics which is linked below because there's always a ton more information over on the blog for you to check out. And with that said, I will see you in next week's video and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and week and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting, bye.